this week on the premiere of The Biggest Loser. Fifteen new contestants were split into teams for a battle of the ages. I would like to ask everyone under 30 to please take a step to your right. Everyone 50 and over to please take a step to your left. These are your teams. <laughs> The teams then competed in their first challenge to choose between Bob and two brand new trainers, Anna and Dolvet. You gotta want this more than me, let's go! Yeah! Paul! You made it onto the show. <laughs> now your hell begins. Can you not give us a break on the first day? Nope. On the ranch, they quickly learned that changing their lives wasn't going to be easy. And at the weigh-in, the blue team fell short. And Debbie was the first contestant to be sent home. Here I am, same find it within you. Third, keep moving, Woo! Dozar. Come on, let's go. Don't be at the bottom anymore. Reach for the top. Let's go. Come on, come on, stop. You got this. Beautiful. On your mark. Get set. Go. I'm going to tell you just one more time. Patrick, you better raise your incline. Fifteen ain't high enough. Get on the other machine. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, everybody. Hey. 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 Gather around, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. As you all know, this season you were divided by age. Those of you who are under 30, those of you who are 50 and over, and those of you in between. There are a lot of stereotypes associated with age. For example, young people like to sleep in late. There's also sort of the stereotype that older people have trouble staying up late. This week we are gonna put them to the test. So I would like one person from each team to volunteer to go first. Vinny raised his hand right away. Red team seems to concur with that. Mike raises his head for the blue team. Antone raises his hand for the black team. If the three of you would come with me. Before I saw anything, I smelled this wonderful smell of just fresh baked donuts. I've never seen so many donuts in my life. It was like walking into a carnival, and these donuts, I mean, my gosh, and they're everywhere. And I even got my own plate. <laughs> it was awesome. Hi, guys. I was floored. There's donuts everywhere, and I'm just like, what in the world is this? Homer Simpson's hideaway or something, you know? And I'm just looking around, and I'm like, oh, I know what this is. Our first temptation. Here at the Biggest Loser Ranch, you all have a luxury that most people don't have. You can work out whenever you want, at any time of day, with world-class trainers, but not this week. Because for this week, the gym will only be open three times a day. In the morning, from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Midday, from noon till 2. And again at night, from 9 p.m. until 11. Your team will only get to work out during one of those time slots. And it will be your time slot for the entire week. Just like all of us in the real world, you got to squeeze in your workouts when you can. Each donut is 35 calories. So if you want to decide when your team works out, you gotta pay the price. You'll have three minutes. We will have every single member of each team out here. The team that eats the most donuts will get to pick what time all three teams train. I really want to have the five to seven in the morning. Getting that workout done in the morning is pretty important to me. That's just the way I would prefer to do it. I want to get up, get it going, get it done, and I got the rest of the day. And I would not want to work out at nine o'clock at night. Gentlemen, your first temptation begins right now. I don't want to be in the gym at 5 o'clock in the morning because that means I had to get up at 4. But whenever I look at that donut, I see something that that was what was going to put me in an early grade. And at this point, I've made so many choices every day to, to eat better, to eat healthy, to, to change the way I was doing. And I don't want to mess that up for three minutes of, you know, being in front of some donuts. I wasn't going to eat any, but I'm anxious to win. I looked at my watch and it was uh, a time that I would have had to have lunch anyway. Remember, you have to have completely swallowed your entire donut for it to count. And the blue team would not want the late time because it puts everything later, gets you out of sync. 
Guys, 30 seconds left. And it's not something that people want to give up. Three, two, one. That's it. Thank you very much. Remember, you are playing for control of when your team works out in the gym. Three minutes on your mark. Get set. Go. I knew when I saw the donuts that I wasn't going to eat any. I'm really looking ahead toward the way in. And to be honest, I was really hoping that nobody on the blue team would eat any donuts either. Boy, these donuts sure do smell good. <laughs> well, Joe, I hope you like working out at 9 p.m. at night. Mmm, I love it, but I'm about to show you how a middle-aged man is about to consume some donuts. My strategy in the game was just to sort of make some noise and drink a lot of water so they think I was down in some. Unfortunately, donuts don't make a lot of noise. He's such a middle-aged man. He was just like, he was like, bump, bump, bump. I heard him do his little fake water jiggle. He made it very obvious that he was doing a fake water jiggle. I'm able to finish this whole plate. Do I get another one? Four, three, two, one. That's it. The three minutes starts right now. Oh, my gosh. The smell of a bakery was unbelievable. Oh, my. It was kind of like if we opened our mouth, we would probably gain weight. Three, two, one. Your time is up. Remember, you are playing for rights to the gym. Three minutes, guys. Your time starts now. Immediately, I think, oh, my gosh, we want the morning. But my strategy is to keep my head down to do what my trainer tells me and to lose weight. I am not going to play games. Two minutes. All you could smell was grease, donuts, sugar. And I'm looking at this pile of donuts and I said to myself, there's absolutely not a speck of that going into my mouth. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Remember, you have to have completely swallowed your entire donut for it to count. And I decided to make it sound like I was having a turkey dinner and a feast with lobsters and clams and really slopping it up. I didn't know what was going on with Johnny. Didn't really sound like he was eating anything or trying to trick anybody to think he was eating. It sounded like he was dying. This guy is making the craziest noises I ever heard. I go, what is he doing to these donuts? Oh. He's going, I was really into it. I mean, I was sweating when I came out of the place. You thought I was working out. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Please stop. Welcome back, Johnny. Since the blue team has only four team members, I randomly selected one member of the blue team to come back and compete in this temptation twice. And that's Johnny. You have three minutes. The team that eats the most donuts gets to pick the time slot for all three teams. There's not a whole lot of things in your control when you live on the ranch. Well, here's something I can do to ensure that the black team would get the workout time that we deemed best for us. It's up to you guys to decide if you want to control your fate. On your mark, get set, go. Of three minutes, the team that eats the most donuts gets to pick the time slot for all three teams to work out. On your mark, get set, go. There's not a whole lot of things in your control when you live on the ranch. So I thought, okay, this is my chance. And I just pumped as many of those little gem donuts down my throat as I could. One minute down, two minutes left. I want to win this because I do better in the morning, I work out better in the morning, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to get the most out of my time in the gym with Bob. Remember what you're playing for. 30 seconds left. You know, it's kind of disgusting how fast I was able to tear through those. Five, four, three, two, one. That's time. If you could cover your trays for me. In today's temptation, I gave you the opportunity to determine what time your team would work out. With it came the responsibility of assigning those time slots to the other two teams. One team ate 11 donuts for a total of 385 calories. In fact, it was eaten by one person, and that person is Mike. That's my lunch. But it isn't even a third of what the winning team ate. Oh, 
The winning team ate 37 donuts. Wow. Oh. For a total of 1,295 calories. Oh, oh, gosh. And again, it was all consumed by one person. Oh. What? And that's John. I just ate 37 donuts. Oh, I was devastated. I felt like just a fool. I felt like an idiot. I'm here to lose weight, to make good choices. And so I made this choice, and there's no turning back. But I just had this moment where I was like, what did I just do? I'm willing to sacrifice whatever it takes for the black team. You want to win a challenge, but my goodness, I mean, 37 donuts in three minutes. That helped our team, but I have a feeling in the long run it's going to hurt him, and we're going to have to carry him a little bit. Black team, you're assigning all three teams their time slots. The five of you are the only ones who are speaking right now. You guys decide what you want. You figured out all three teams? Yes, ma'am. Black team will take the 5 to 7 a.m. slot. Okay. 12 to 2 will be the blue team. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. What made you make that choice? Obviously, it's what they wanted. Um, I respect them. You respect them? John basically said, you know, I respect the blue team. And at first I was just like, did he really just say that he doesn't respect us? Because that's what you hear. So I was kind of bothered by that. Red team, you have the late night shift. Yeah. Don't All respect right. us. Cool. Cool. I went from zero to hot in a, in, in a second. Just because we're young, you're, you're going to throw a respect card at us? I was taught to respect people that are older than you. No worries. We we'll work at 2 a.m. Yeah, it just kind of doesn't matter. Good luck, guys. I will see you soon. Have a great day. Thank you. black team up here is there a black team that's ready for their workout it's way too early in the morning been doing this crap. wake up i'm telling you it's tough getting up at four in the morning to get ready for a workout i'm not happy about it but what do you do you got to take advantage of every second you can of having bob harper to work you out and if it's got to be five to seven in the morning it's gonna have to be five to seven in the morning is all i know Good morning, 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 good morning. Good morning. How you doing, Miss Sunny? Oh my gosh, I'm tired. You're you. Are you gonna do that all morning? I need you to get ready so we can get up to the gym because remember we only have two hours. Okay. I don't want to waste one minute. If we get into the gym at 5:01, then we've lost a minute. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes. This is the time slot that we chose. I'm immediately regretting it. I don't know why we picked this. <laughs> because we're stupid. Yes, I'm so glad that you ate 37 donuts to work out at 5 o'clock in the morning. Bob Harper says working out in the morning is best. <sighs> This is still night. Yeah. Here's an angry donut man right here who's trying to get all that out. That is perfection. 24 hours in a day, when you go home, you can work out anytime. Morning time, get it off your list. For the Fab 40s, we've all got busy lifestyles. Most of us have kids. We've got obligations. We all have to go work. We all have things we have to go do. For us as a group, this is the prime time to work out. You get up early, you get that workout in, and guess what? It's done. If you wait till the end of the day, there's a million reasons that you will find not to go to that gym. Take both feet up, John. Come on, John, show me what you got. When I found out that John ate 37 donuts to gain power in the house, I mean, this is the man that is a control freak. He doesn't want anyone taking his power away from him. John needs to realize that he has to surrender sometimes. You can't be in control of every single thing. Donut, your workout is this. Oh, dear heavens. Every 45 plate need to be taken from this side of the gym and stacked over on this side of the gym. <clears throat> I would think that you'd be kind of getting your speed going a little bit faster, John. You ate a lot of donuts. Yes, I did. I didn't come here to eat 37 donuts. 
I came here to fix what's wrong up here, which will lead me to fix what's wrong down here. There are certain things I have to be in control of. And clearly, there, there's no control here. It's imperative for me to be able to fix this problem I have. I have people at home counting on me. I have a wife. I have two boys. They need me. I need them. I teach high school special education kids. I also coach high school football. At a time in my life, I was a good athlete. And I am ready to feel athletic again. I want to be healthy because I have so much to give this world. It's not just about football. It's about life and my students and my family and my relatives. Uh, uh, uh. Good. I'm in a low place right now. I'm about as low as a guy can get. I am ready. Uh, oh. Stay on it. Okay. Back. Okay. No one stops. Oh, oh, Level oh, one. Oh, oh. Level one. Good morning. I'm a morning person. Oh. I love the morning. I love the morning. The morning time is good to work out. Oh. Morning, morning, morning. Morning, morning, morning. Sun's coming up in the morning, morning, morning. Get on the steppers. Morning coffee. Oh, Ten seconds. The one thing I've learned about if you work with Bob Harper at five in the morning, it's kind of bizarro, Bob. Morning time to work out. It's morning time to work out. I mean, he's like all kinds of happy. You want to work out in the morning. He had this evil grin. <laughs> It's like an extra sadistic Bob Harper at 5 in the morning. <laughs> I just want to stay in bed. I don't want to go do this workout. Everybody else in the house is sleeping. I just want my bed. Bikes. <laughs> Top of the hill. Show me. Dig in deep. Show me these big, strong legs. In my past NFL career, I feel like I've always excelled at anything I was able to do. And my teammates, they never played in the NFL. They don't know what that's like. Pull up, pull up. You're trained to be the best. You want to be the best. I want those legs to feel like they are falling off your body right now, Antonio. I expect greatness out of you. I expect greatness out of you any given moment of any given day. When I look at you and I tell you to push, I want you to push because I know that you can. Go faster, Antonio. 15 more seconds. It's not good enough right now, Anto. Let's go. Come on, Anto. 15, 14. I want more. I expect everything out of you. 10, 9, 8, 7. Not good enough. 5, 4, go. That's right. That's what we're seeing. That's right. You should be getting angry. You should be pissed off. First thing you said when you walked into this house, you don't want to be a statistic. People have died that you know. You don't want to be dead. That's why you're on my watch right now. Get your ass up and get over here. Let's go. All five of you. Up. We're on the rower. Anton has a lot of demons in him. And I mean, anybody could see it. So it's like, I gotta push him. I gotta, I gotta like, I've gotta release the demons that are inside of Anton. And the way that I do it is by pushing him that way in that gym. Because that's where all the demons of Biggest Loser Past contestants live, in that gym. What are you feeling right now? I, I know I'm never gonna get this chance again. And right now, I just feel like I'm the back of our pack. I just feel like I should be leading. Here's the thing. You're doing everything right. They're, you're doing everything right, man. You've got to just, like, you've got to cut yourself some slack. We are in week two right now. If you keep beating yourself up and not getting, not getting a payoff in the end, this will be all in vain. 
When I see you, I see the package. I see everybody around you that makes you. Daddy! 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 They're proud of you. I know that they are. I'm proud of you. I need you to be proud of you. What you've been able to achieve in this short amount of time. It's all going to work out if you allow it to. You feel me? Yes. My knee's been bothering me. Um, it's been giving out. It's really, really painful when I work out, but I'm pushing through it. And, you know, I've got my team members behind me. I mean, I just got to get on there and do what I need to do and get it done. You're a tough girl, aren't you? Yes, I am, sir. I know. You're a tough girl. How are you feeling? I was talking to Sunny, and it turns out that she is not very happy with John. So what's going on? He told Anton that I was as dumb as a box of rocks, and that I was dumb as poo, and then I have an IQ of 90. <laughs> and then him and then Anton and Ramon and Vinny were going to be in it in the end, and they're going to be the four horsemen. Have you talked to John about any of this? No. The, the best way that um, you can handle an issue is to address the issue. Let's walk out. We're out. Hey, we need to talk as a team. Um, I mean, first of all, we walk outside and I'm feeling good, thinking, all right, everything's going to be fine. And then Sonny calls the meeting right then. And I was just like, oh, wow, is this going to happen right now? I want to know yeah. why you tell Antone that I'm as dumb as a box of rocks and I'm as dumb as poo and I have an IQ of 90. You don't know me. Yeah, I said, you're either a genius playing dumb or you are dumb. Anton and I are walking, okay? I said, hey, what happens if we lose a weigh-in? What should we do? He brings up his name, okay? He's worried about going home. He's worried about going home. He's like, nobody's got my back. I don't have a friend in the house. I got no one. I didn't know he's perpetrating all this on me. He says, I got no one. I'll see if I can talk to Jen and beg her not to write your name. That's exactly what I said. He was trying to, he was making deals with Anton. He was making deals with Jen that she didn't even know about. And then he's making deals with the red team. And I'm thinking, who is this guy? Obviously, his blood doesn't run black. We all know this is a game. But when you go below the line and start calling this lady dumb and her IQ is low, so John, John, no, 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 listen, that's below the line. I don't care how much of a game this is. We don't get the right to play that game. And you can smile and smirk all you want. I'm, the you fact is, you're I'm the shocked. man, you roll the world. I'm shocked that you would go there for somebody on our team. I mean, that's ridiculous. You know, I really did not expect the conversation to happen, but this is the time and place that this needs to happen. In the NFL, we used to call it an air it out session. You have to find a way to resolve this because here's what's gonna happen. If I was the blue team right now, or if I was the red team and I saw this, this would be my, this would be the happiest day of my life because you guys are the biggest threats in this house. You are the strongest team and they, they are looking for the crack. And the black team is cracked right now. What I said was immature, irresponsible, and it was a huge mistake. You don't have to forgive me, but I do need to apologize. And I don't know oh, what went through my head. You know, I don't know if the game got to me or what, but that was a terrible thing to say. Yeah, it just hurt my feelings. I don't know why you would say it. You got your feelings hurt. That's valid. I mean, honestly, uh, I ate the donuts for the team. I believe in this team. You know, I, I came here to, to lose weight and come here to, to stab people in the back and tell lies and half-truths and twist and turn and set people up. So now the onus is on me to see, we can, see if we can keep, kind of keep this together and get past this. Five united people. Thank you for your forgiveness. Black team on three. One, two, three. Black, Black team. team! All right, you guys, we only have two hours. We're going to burn every single calorie we can. When you're home during your regular life, you have to fit in working out somewhere. Keep going. Oh, two hours, you're lucky if you get two hours in the real world. I want you to be out of breath, Bonnie. Come on, let's go. You need to get your heart rate up, Bonnie. Good, there you are. That's the face I want to see. Perfect. I'm pushing because I had a, a horrible loss last week. Working out harder this week is even more important. Johnny, don't hold on. I see that. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Whatever you do, you shouldn't come off. Like a drop of a heart attack. It is very, very frustrating for me to watch how Johnny's just giving up so fast. I'm trying. But just don't stop. I left behind my whole family. For me to abandon all that I have going on and, and being involved in. Oh. 
It's been a, it's been a real commitment. Whoa, baby. Okay, you got off five minutes, seconds before. Oh, yeah. It's 9.55, you gotta finish six seconds, let's go. It's 10.02, honey. Well, that's because you got off, seriously? No, no. Johnny. Okay. Six seconds, you're gonna get off when it's six I, seconds? I, 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 here I come! There's a famous saying in Russian, не сиди на диване не плюй в потолок, which means don't sit on the couch and spit at the ceiling and expect things to happen for you. That's what I'm thinking of when I'm looking at Johnny right now because I feel like he's just wishing for things to happen instead of going and making it happen. Come on. Let me just go back and stretch my back. Why are we stopping? When Anna's having to spend a lot of time with Johnny, it is frustrating. You know, this is this is my time too. I need a little bit of attention myself. Johnny, we only have two hours total. I understand. So we can't waste it. You don't want to what? Don't whisper. Okay. Plenty. I need five minutes. No, you don't. Gotta, you, we gotta, don't have five minutes. Have we don't have I five gotta, minutes. No, you don't. I gotta have it. Seeing a person that really is okay and keep making excuses that he can't do stuff, it's frustrating. I'm wishing that I would just have both of his legs. Do you want to go home on this no, way in? No, I'm not going so home we this way in. Okay, so we need to get back on okay. the treadmill. I, I can't. We already lost one person. Four of us have to all chip in, and it's not happening right now with Johnny. 10 seconds, nine, eight. Come on, Becky. Go, Mike, you guys are running. Come on, you guys, finish it up, finish strong. Three, two, it's two o'clock. Oh. You guys, we have Wait. to leave. Oh, Let's shoot. go, Johnny. You guys, we have Wait. to leave. Oh, oh baby. Shoot. That was some two hours. All right, so it's, um, it's eight o'clock. Yep. Got about an hour before we start training. Yep. Having this hour to work out, nine o'clock at night, I'm able to see on each and everyone's food journal, how much did you eat for the day? Their caloric count is complete. Based on that number, I'm able now to burn the correct amount of calories to complete their day. So you only have 30 calories to complete your day? Yes, sir. Right before we start working out, that's pretty fantastic. Court, you're up to bed. Please give me good news. For you. Uh, I'm Talk pretty good to too. I have about I'm about 200 calories short of my goal too. Okay. So, um, but I was thinking about grabbing something before the workout too to get a little extra. Okay. All right. So, Grab a little yeah. something. Our team is probably the most focused when it comes to nutrition. There is not a beat we don't miss. There's not something that we don't measure. And our, we're counting our calories until we get to our calorie limit every single day. What do you got there? So this is the YoPlay Light Yogurt, uh -huh. and um, it's absolutely amazing. Like, this one's actually red velvet, so it's kind Ooh. of like, it kind of like yeah. tricks it out so you actually feel like you're eating red velvet cake, which is legal. Let me tell you why <laughs> this is a good alternative. This only has 100 calories in it. Oh, oh nice. nice. As opposed to eating a regular red velvet cake, you still get the taste. <laughs> right. You still get the flavor. Right. How's it taste? Like red velvet cake. <laughs> it tastes like red velvet cake. So everybody wins, you know? Nice. They also have, like, we got nice. um, very vanilla, too, so you can switch up the flavors, too, if you want. It's Your an easy light snack. Has 30 different flavors. Wow. Really? 30? Seriously? Which is fantastic. Dang. Wow. I'd like to be somebody that comes up with the flavors for those things. <laughs> you want a taste? I want a chocolate gravy and biscuit yogurt. <laughs> I'm excited to get going here in the gym and burn off some calories. Yeah. Who's with me? Yeah. Let's go, team. Mm. Rock it. Let's do it. Man, I'm going to bed. You guys ready? Yes, yes sir. Put it in here. Let's go, red team. We're going hard, all right? Love you guys. On three. One, two, three. Ready? My team may not think we have the best time slot to work out. We're the young team. This is when the young team goes out to the club, ain't it? When we, we just getting warmed up. Yes, sir. So what? My job is to show them no matter what time of day it is, you put the work in. Period. We just ready to go out and get the night going. This ain't nothing to us. Yes, sir. Dedication. Hard work. Hard work. We got a lot of work to get done today, guys. We got two hours. To get in shape. Ready! Go hard, go hard, no excuses. That's it, Patrick. I'm watching you. I see you. You're doing great. Last week we couldn't run. Stand tall. Stand tall. Come on. You're walking on a treadmill, you're falling off the treadmill. Look at you go. Up! Though that's really cool outside of the gym, but literally, when we walk up those steps into that gym, 
a crazy switch goes off in his head. You ready in five? It's definitely weird because you go from having Dolbet with this big white smile and just, <laughs> and then to that just. <laughs> Harder than that. How bad you want it, Patrick? Bad. How bad you want it? Bad. Let's go. Harder. <laughs> Get it in. More. <sighs> Go, 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 go! Much too slow. Stand up. <sighs> Sit down. Stand up! <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. I would love to thank Black Team for giving us the 9 to 11 spot. Let me give a little shout out to them. Yay, Black Team. Ugh. But in the real world, I'm gonna be pretty much doing something like this. You know, as a tattoo artist, I'm out late. So this is a perfect preparation for that. Go. Ah! Strong ah! chest. Keep going, Ramon. Yes, sir. Ah, Make sure more power. Get it up there. That's it. That's it. Come on. Get back on. Don't stop. I'm just. I know you're off. Different. I don't, I don't know, what's, know what's, I don't, what's going on. I don't know what's going on. What's going on in your head? You seem distracted tonight to me. I'm training with Jessica along with everyone else, but I'm noticed she doesn't have the same drive that she normally has when we trained last week. Something's a little off. You're in a six-year relationship. Mm hmm. How do he treat you? Um, fine, I guess. But uh, I guess looking back on it, it, uh, I took a lot of crap that I probably put in, shouldn't have. I was in a relationship for six years, which did include a two and a half year engagement. I ended it last year. He had known me when I was thin. He was an extremely jealous person. He had seen the attention I had gotten. And I think as a mixture from the jealousy and insecurities on his part, he pushed me towards food. There was jealousy, and uh, instead of going out with friends, we'd go to eat. I gained 135 pounds when I was with him. He would reward me with our nights out, like going to eat. I got the attention I needed from him, um, but he kind of just made everybody else go away. But it just took me, unfortunately, six years to realize that. So that's why I'm here. That's why I want to get those six years back. Your lifestyle has to change. Change this. You've already took a step. And that step is you're not going to be threatened by anyone. Anyone be jealous in your life. That's a huge step for you. The next step now is to I'm going to always take care of myself. If I'm here, if I'm at home, it doesn't matter. Just focus, OK? kind of weird looking back and saying like what the heck were you doing Jess you know unfortunately it took me six years to realize you're losing six years of your life to food and obesity but you know what I'm at the point where there's no more excuses stand up You're almost there go 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 that's it that's it that's it finish strong five seconds four three two go hard time time Dedication! Dr. H. Every single season, I have to deliver serious news to the contestants. It's never pretty, but, you know, I'm not here to candy coat things. They need this tough love so that they can see the severity of the medical issues they're dealing with. This season, I've asked the trainers to come along so that they can see firsthand exactly what they're dealing with and how to best help fix these issues. Is that leg getting the best of you, or are you... No, I won't let it. Powering through. I'm powering through. Whatever it is, there's a way to continue to lose weight. Right. Yes. You know, today we used to go through all your medical results. Yep. Some people would say, look at you. You're this really attractive, very successful, go-getter in your personal life individual. You've got this booming personality. I've been in news for the last 20 years as a news producer. I've always known what I wanted to do since I was a child. I look in the mirror and I really don't see a fat person. I like who I am on the inside. There are people out there that say, we have no business getting you to lose weight because here you are, yep. this successful, attractive person. I don't agree with that group because here you are, oh my God. you know, you're 330 some odd pounds. You have at least 155 pounds of excess fat. That's not fat, that's excess fat. Within the next five years, you've got a 32% chance of becoming diabetic. Oh my God. It's coming. I mean, that's, that's a guarantee personally for me. Yep, I'd put money on that one. Yeah, it's coming. Disease is coming and you're too young for that. <laughs> well, I'm here. I haven't had kids. I've never been married. 
And I don't know how I got here. Honestly, you just, you don't see it. I just, for some reason, it just keeps piling on, you know? Look what I've done to myself. I don't think you came into this show with an understanding. You didn't really know how deep your problems went. It's time to take right. off the colored lenses. Right. As limited as she is with her body right now, she's so determined. She's going to change this. She's going to fix this. I'm strong and I can do this. I'm ready. Remember you keep talking about, yeah, I got my staples. 91, yes. This is what you did. They put some staples here and they made the stomach smaller. Mm -hmm. You went down to 200 pounds after the surgery. Mm -hmm. And then you went right back up. Right, eventually. To 310. Right. Do you want to know why? Because when you went from 300 down to 200, a lot of that wasn't fat you lost. Right. You lost muscle. Yes. So you ended up not the same person as before surgery, worse off. Wow. And now I want to show you one of the things that is just really apparent. People always talk about, oh, I've got bone on bone. I think you're past bone on bone. You're bone through bone. Yeah, you need another artificial knee, but it's not gonna work if you don't keep your weight down and the knee you have is gonna go bust if we don't get this weight down and keep it down. I want you to remember everybody that's pulling for you. And I want you to remember why you're doing it. I want you right now to talk to somebody that I think will put all this in a very crystal clear picture, okay? Okay. Hello. Hey, Mom, it's Kimmy. <laughs> She's my only daughter. We're very close. She has a wonderful husband, and she has two wonderful kids, one of who is Down syndrome, who is my heart. Our first thing I need you to know is that everything here is great. Everyone is doing great, and everything is under control. Okay. You need to notice, because where you need to be physically and mentally That's on right. that ranch, taking care of yourself, Mom, okay? I with all my heart, darling. Your boys want to talk to you. Oh they can God. talk to you, okay? Hi, <laughs> Mama. I miss you. Good luck. Oh, my darling. I love, love you. Hey, guess what? Mama's practicing our dance, okay? Yeah, I know. That made me have more of a push to carry me on for so many more weeks. Is that a good reason to try to get some of those years of life oh, back? Oh, you just don't know. Bonnie wants it. She is grabbing onto this opportunity. Doc, I can tell you from witnessing it, she will not stop. She will not give up. I want to have fun and enjoy my time with my grandchildren. You know, they're just my world. I'm going to come back a different person. Well, one of the things that was interesting about you, you know, we have this massive medical evaluation. So I look at yours last night and, you know, it says Ramon, 27 years old, overweight, nothing else wrong with you. 28 pages of questions. Yeah. Is that true? Mm, probably not. Medical stuff is like I haven't went to the doctor in forever because I, I didn't want to know what was wrong with me, you know? My mom always said, you need to go to the doctor, and I always just blew it off. I'm, I'm too young to have Why anything. Why do you blow you know? everything I'm, off? I don't know. It's just like I thought, hey, I'm too young to have this kind of stuff. Are you too young to have high blood pressure, elevated bad guy cholesterol, markedly decreased good guy cholesterol, high uric acid, reflux, acid that's coming up and going into your lung and causing asthma? And you know what else you got? You got diabetes. Huh. Did you know that? And you're too young. <laughs> I did all this to myself. So disappointing. I can't sugarcoat this. And I Horrible want, I phrase, but I can't. I don't want that anymore. I don't, that's how my whole life has been, you know, you're, it's fine, it's okay. I don't want that anymore. I need the kick in the butt. I need, I yeah. need that. I think, I and think. I'm ready. You've been, you've been dealing with hope a lot. Well, I hope I'm okay and I hope I wake up as long as, and you've been living too many excuses. 
You know, you have to become aware and take responsibility for your actions. But let being young be an excuse. We have a way it's called the Biggest Loser Know Your Number Health Score. And we said, okay, a 27-year-old guy, what's your real age on the inside? Jeez. No problems, no problems. And you're the sickest person on the ranch. You've got the biggest bump in years of anybody here. I'm so ashamed. That shouldn't be my inner age. That, that's my football number right there, not my freaking inner age. You have something to fight for now. You've always had something to fight for. This makes it a reality. Now that I know all these things, it lights a fire in me. And it's not just because I want to be strong on the football field, because I want to be, you know, the cool guy, I, you know, because I want to get chicks. That's all bull crap. It's because I want to live. Because <sighs> I'm sick of killing myself. Want to be a contestant on The Biggest Loser? Log on to NBC.com for details. Earlier tonight, this week, the gym will only be open three times a day. The contestants' temptations were put to the test. If you want to decide when your team works out, you gotta pay the price. And John gained control for the black team. Faster, Antone! Antone continued to struggle. <laughs> and Ramon received some painful news. He got diabetes. Coming up, at the challenge, teams battle it out. I just do not want the black team to win again for extra pounds at the weigh-in and find out which team will fall victim to the scale. Welcome, everyone. For most of your lives, you have let your weight hold you back. Well, tonight, you're going to let your weight work for you. On that raft is a maze. Your job is to use your body weight to steer the ball toward the finish. The team that finishes in the fastest time will receive a two pound advantage yeah. at the weigh-in this week. The team that comes in second will receive a one pound advantage. So I guess the bottom line is you don't want to come in last. Black team, red team, you each have five team members to make it even. We're going to ask you to each sit one player out. Vinny's going to sit out on this challenge. Jennifer's going to sit out this one. All right, guys, keep in mind you will not be allowed to see the other teams attempting this challenge until you have had a chance to complete this challenge. Red team, you're up first, so you come take your positions. Black team, blue team, I'm going to ask you to wait outside. As long as the black team keeps winning, the red team, young guns, are getting just frustrated. They can't beat us. And so now it's just a matter of let's just keep winning to just keep frustrating them because it's fun. I'm ready for this thing. I'm like, let's go. Young Guns, the red team, we want this bad. We're sick of losing to the black team. If you watch the show, second week on the ranch, everybody has a bad week. So those pounds are going to be crucial. On your mark, get set, go. Okay, towards those guys. Come on. Bring the weight by. Jump a little bit. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Get that ball in. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Okay, hey, back up towards me. Using all their weight. Uh, uh, okay, right control, over. control. Over towards you guys. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. It'll go down. Okay. That way. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Good. There they go. Okay, now they're making progress. Right off the bat, we're doing good. The ball's moving. Go, go, go. We're all moving as a team from side to side. Okay, back, 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 back. Go, keep going, keep go, going. go, go, go. We make it through the first loop. Jump, jump. The second loop, and then we come to the middle point. This one's gonna be tricky. Guys, get on the edges. Get ready, guys, get ready, it's coming. Go, 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 go. Oh, ah. And we just get stuck. Guys, it's not that. Ah. This one stupid little spot. And with the speed, was it fast enough? No, they are back in the same dead end. We cannot get this ball through the spot. Keep going. Oh, it come, it's coming. Ramon, down, right down, there. Highway, come here, Ramon, come here. No, oh, no, he just missed it. He needs to come, come my on. way. 
Okay, get ready, because it's going to be rolling. You guys need to be on this end with us now. No, 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 we're running around as fast as we can go to get this ball in a two-foot space. But once we got it, it was all momentum from there. There you go. Yeah! yeah. There we go. Good kid, we're almost there. Yeah. Go, go. We see it! Woo. There you go! 7.45, Red Team! Yes. Good job. Good job, guys. Yeah. Good job, guys. Yeah. Good job, guys. I feel pretty good about 7.45. I will be completely blown away if the black team, or the blue team for that matter, beats that number. All right, blue team. As you can see, the red team completed this challenge in seven minutes and 45 seconds. So that is the time to beat. Gosh, we should be able to beat that. That's not, that's not that fast. Blue team, your time starts now. All right, go. Come on. Come on. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, oh. Here, hold on. Bonnie holding still on her side of the float. Over here. Let's go to the bleachers. Come on. Come on. We got it. We got it. We got it. All right, I'm, I'm staying here. Go around me. The strategy was to keep me from having to run around the platform so much because of my knee. Can you come this way, Bonnie? Well, I guess I'm going to have to. Now, Bonnie's going to have to move now. That ball is stuck. But seeing that our team doesn't have enough weight to move the ball at times, I was needed to go move around. You're going to come. You're going to come. You're officially halfway there. Come on. A little more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Move a little faster. A little faster. Johnny's got his eye on the trouble spot. Here it comes. Do this right. You can make it happen. Two-pound advantage. Six minutes and 40 seconds into this competition. Oh! oh. Come on, okay, now, now go to the top. Go to the top. No. Quick, quick. Uh. Not quite, blue team. Once they hit that 745 mark, boom. It's ours. We at least got a one pound advantage. We're going for the two, but we're in the poundage for at least one. Blue team playing for second place right now. Come, 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 come. Oh, we got it. Oh, come, come on. Right there, we got it! Woo! Boom, boom, boom! Finally, it worked out. And then after you got past that point, it wasn't too bad. Bonnie definitely fighting with her team. The blue team sticks together, brings it in for a finish. It's 14 minutes and 45 yeah. seconds. Good job, blue Good team. Good job, blue. I didn't think we were ever going to get it out of that corner. Now, let's see what the black team can do. Black team, your task is to finish this challenge in under seven minutes and 45 seconds. If you do that, you have won a two pound advantage at this week's weigh-in. On your marks, get set, go. Go slowly towards John, slowly, slowly. Keep moving, keep going. The black team is a big, big team. They got a lot of weight. Can they get it all going in the right direction in order to get the ball rolling in the right direction? Hopefully not. Black team playing it very cautious to start with. Okay, come this way. Come this way, Joe, stay there. Come this way. Okay, come, switch with me, switch with me. Go, go, go. Yeah. Go. Go that way, go that way. Go, 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 Anton. This is a huge test to find out for sure how united the black team is. Oh it's really important for us to stay focused, listen to Sonny, and make good, clear, deliberate movements. Go, go, go. As a teacher, I'm telling kids what to do all day. Go, no, that way, Joe, stay there, stay there. Go over here, come over here, get busy. Go go do your homework. So I'm used to telling people what to do, so I felt completely at home. Here it comes, here it comes. Okay, go. Go, 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 go fast. Go, 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 go. And with that, they are more than halfway go, go. there. Go, go, go. Four minutes and 22 seconds down. It's gotta be quick. Go, 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 it's gotta drop. We think we're moving along and all of a sudden we fall into this trap and we're all panicking. We're thinking, oh no. Where did that come back. And the black team hits that dead end. Red team started cheering when we got in the trap and I'm like, ah, oh, I knew there was something hard about this. And I'm thinking, we could be stuck here all day. Gotta Stop. make it you. Oh, we're good, oh, we're good, this is good. Let's make it work. This turn it has work. definitely been tough for every team. Can the black team figure it out in enough time to win a two pound advantage? Now, go back, go back. Yes, 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 oh, yes. Yes, did it come back? 
All right. From the red team's glee, you can see they are falling into the trap on, every way, team way. has fallen hurry, into. Hurry, Joe, hurry, Joe, hurry. Black team's stuck just like us, you know? We're like, yes, take all the time you need. Come around, come around, come around, come around, come on. Okay, go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. 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 <laughs> wow, the black team yeah. overcoming that hurdle with speed. That's five minutes and 30 seconds down. This spot right here? That's two minutes and 15 seconds to complete the rest of the maze. Ready? Somehow we got that ball to come out and roll perfectly into the next section. I was like, yes, we got it now. As soon as we got out of that trap, I'm like, we're rolling. Take your time. Be methodical. Don't get in a hurry. We're almost there. Right here, let it go. Yeah. We got it, Let's go now. Finish. Yeah. Come on, Sonny. Come on, Sonny. Yes. Do it. Wait, come back. Come back, Aaron. Get in the corner, get in the corner, come on. Get it in. Quick, 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 quick. You guys, come on. I can't get it over the lip. Come on, Sonny. I can't get it over the lip. Wait, come back, come back, hurry. Get in the corner, get in the corner, come on. Get it in. Quick, 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 quick. Guys, come on. There you go. Yeah. 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 The black team bringing it nice. home together as a unit. Nice. Woo! Yes! yes. Nice. Good job. Yes. Yes. Congratulations, black yeah. team. You yeah. have just completed this challenge. You won a two-pound advantage at this week's weigh-in. Yeah, baby, black team. We take them again. Don't ever underestimate the black team because the black team shows up no matter what happens, and we're going to take care of business. You can count on that because we got it, baby. We won. Yes. Red team has got to be frustrating. You know how close you came, but you still have a one pound advantage. Blue team, sorry, but you guys are going to have to fight it out the old fashioned way. I'll see you guys all at the weigh in. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> nice. Good job. Ugh. All right, guys, it's 5 a.m., last chance workout. That's right, last chance workout. Two hours, no stopping, you guys. Ready? Last chance. Let's work. Last chance workout, guys. This is it. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Last chance workout. We're at the Biggest Loser House. Last chance workout doesn't go for two hours. It goes for 22 hours. So I got to make sure that they're going to get the best two-hour last chance workout they've ever had. Let's go. No. Push. We're going to go into this way in five black teams strong. Go, Bonnie. Got it. Excellent. The blue team, we are the underdogs. We are older. We're a bit slower. We lost the last way in. So what I want to see today in this last chance workout, I want every single member of my team to give a million percent. Good, Johnny. No holding on. Excellent. Last chance workout, guys. This is it. We got to prove ourselves tomorrow. Just got two hours for this last chance workout. But you know what? I work best under pressure. The challenge for me right now is to think, can I burn as many calories in two hours like I burned in week one when I had five or six? Can I? Can they? You know what? I think we can. How bad you want? You got to show me. That's 20. Last chance. Work out. Go, go, go. <sighs> <sighs> You want me push up? Going into your second weigh-in with a two-pound advantage. <laughs> and you are not going to rest at all today. I love the fact that here we are working our asses off from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. But as hard as we're working, I don't know what the red team's doing. You're not moving. You ain't losing. I don't know what the blue team's doing. Move it, move it, move it. I just always assume that everybody around me is running on all cylinders, and I've got to do the exact same thing. So let's look at the bigger picture of this. So we have a two-pound advantage, right? Yes. That's good for you. I love the fact that we have um, a two-pound advantage. I mean, you think about in the big picture, does two pounds make a difference? Two pounds is a two-day workout for one of my girls, and Jennifer is injured. Is that bag for me? I'm setting a whole little station for you, baby girl. Jennifer's basically hurt her knee. She's got to get, a, get an MRI, and she cannot do a lot, so I will take those two pounds, and I will take them gladly. We know what you can't do. We have to figure out um, what you can do. Stay with the fast pace. Come on, you can do it. We lost the challenge, which means we don't have a pound advantage. And so I really have to make up the extra pounds the other teams have, and it's not going to be easy. But no one ever said that last chance workouts are easy. Black team, two pound advantage. Red team, one pound advantage. We have no advantage. Come on, let's do it, you guys. 25, Johnny. Anna wants me to do as much as I can. 
25, not 24, 25. Come on. She's a good coach, and she is a no-nonsense lady. Come on, come on, push, push, push. Check it out, Johnny. You're looking ahead. You're not looking down. I'm so proud. And today, I think I had one of the better workouts that I've had since I've been here. Three, two, one. Ooh -ha! Yeah. It's really important for me, and I want Johnny to succeed this week. That's the determination on Johnny's yeah. face. There you go. Yeah. Good. And then this last chance workout, I see a different Johnny. Something happened amazing, and he's made a huge amount of progress. I just really hope it's enough. So get ready for your toughest push right now. Last chance workout cardio. Hands down. Tug and pull. Tug and pull. Go, 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 go. My plan for the last chance workout is to go nonstop. Let's go, let's go. What's my count? Don't make excuses, make results. Fantastic, Patrick, fantastic. Keep it moving, sir. I gave my all this week because I hope so badly that we dominate on the scale this week. I don't care if we win by half a pound or 12 pounds or whatever it is. I just do not want the black team to win again. Proud of you guys. Keep yes. moving no matter what. That's how you lose weight, baby. Yes, That's how you make it happen. Last chance workout. We got some time to make up for. Man, I can't believe we only got one pound. I can't believe we lost that challenge. Unbelievable. We got a lot at stake this week. The one pound advantage. It's cool. The only problem is I understand that the black team has a two pound advantage. Unbelievable. How do we lose that challenge? We got to sweat a little bit more going into week three. I just had to push them. I had to get into their heads and say, hey, this isn't, this isn't good enough for me. Do it again. Good. Do it again. Set your body up. Go to work. Go. Right arm. Left arm. Together. How bad do you want it? You got to show me. I want it bad. I know you're tired. I know you're fatigued. That's when we fight that much more. Yes, sir. Go hard. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's yes, go. Sir. Let's go. Move it. Move it. <laughs> it hurts to look good, baby. It hurts to look good. I'm in pain every day. <laughs> Let's go. Nobody's thinking about those two pounds. Nobody is thinking about those two pounds. We're thinking about second week weigh-in. We're thinking about the black team coming off of really, really big numbers. It's week two. It's the dreaded week two. I lost the most weight in the house last week. I lost 37 pounds. So statistically, the odds are against me to have a good week. But, I mean, why am I here? I'm here to lose weight. Come on, John. Hold it up. Well, then let's lose some weight. Push. <sighs> you want to get to that 300, man. You got to work hard. Now push. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Antone, frustration would be a good thing to get out while you're over there. Get it out. You know, personally, I've been dealing with this issue of not being able to do the things that I used to be able to do when I was an NFL lineman. I'll be honest with you, it's been frustrating to feel like you're still an athlete and then not be able to do it. And today was a turning point for me. I feel like, you know, I still have a long way to go, but I'm not falling on the floor, you know, begging for mercy. I'm, I'm using all that energy in a positive way to continue my workouts and to continue to get better. Three, two, one. Ooh, Anton, that was good form. Last chance workout, Black Team. I want to hear that breathing, you guys. Come on, come on. Move your legs. Let's go. Go, coach. Excellent. Excellent. I had to run a hard day. 38th year anniversary. Today? Today. Are you serious? Serious. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. It must be hard be, being away yeah. from her. Well, it's all for the good. Yeah. It's all for the good. You know, last chance workout is a start for me because today uh, I've been married to my wife, Chris, for 38 years, and my wife has uh, been with me uh, since college, and uh, we raised two fine children. She understands this is a life-changing experience for me and her and our family and our grandkids, and this might be 38 uh, years, but uh, I want to make sure it's 50, and I'm around that long. That's great. So I'm here. That's great. Congratulations. Thank you. I love that determination, sir. Hard work. Dedication. Hard work. Dedication. Dedication. Stand Hard up. Hard work. Woo! Get it then. Get it then. Ah! 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 The energy's kind of low tonight for some reason. I think we got to bring it up a little bit, huh? The faster you go, the better. Let's go. That's it. Good form, Ramon. Ow! Come on, 30 more seconds. <clears throat> yes, come on. Give it to me. Come on, Patrick. <clears throat> Push yourself. 20 seconds, we gotta get out of here. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep going. I'm proud of you. 
Last chance. 15, 14, 13. This is it. This is all you got. Right now. Okay. Right now. Last chance. Last chance. Last chance. Five seconds left. Four. Three. Two. One. Five. Nice job, you guys. That's my team. The end of your last chance workout. Good job. Oh, good God. No more losing! You hear me? No more, baby. No more losing! No more. Black team, we're coming. And you know this. The senior slickers are gonna give the red and the black teams a run for their money. Red team's tired of losing. We're tired of losing weigh-ins. We're tired of losing challenges. It's on like Donkey Kong. The teams may have been divided by age, but probably the number one excuse for everyone, no matter what their age, they just don't have time to lose weight. They have jobs and kids, responsibility. Well, we put that to the test this week. Each team was only allowed two hours in the gym a day. Tonight, the team with the lowest percentage of weight loss will face elimination and one member of that team will be going home. Red team, you have a one pound advantage on the scale tonight. So we're gonna start you off with that. And now Vinny is gonna weigh in first. All right, here we go, Big Ben. Let's go, baby. I'm getting so close to getting below that 400 mark into the 300s. My goal is 389. I'm just shooting high. You know, I believe in setting my goals as high as I can. Your current weight is. I thought I was going to break that 400-pound barrier this week, but uh, God willing, it'll be next week, I guess. I know we both anticipated a milestone today, thinking that he would go under 400 pounds. Five pounds, I, I definitely wanted more. Man, Vinny almost made that milestone, brother. And for him, him being one of the bigger guys on my team, you say the bigger you are, the more weight potentially you're supposed to lose. That aspiration was there. You got to do better than five pounds. You lost five pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it six pounds so far. Jessica's next. Vinny only pulled a five. And I'm thinking, if he can only pull a five, who knows what's going to happen with me. Your previous weight was 239 pounds. Your current weight is. Nice! Yeah. Good job, Jess! Woo. I'll take seven, but um, I want more next week. And I'm going to make sure I get it. Yeah, Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Jessica, you lost seven pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 13 pounds so far. We're going to weigh in Courtney next. Courtney, the previous weight was 254 pounds. Your current weight is... Out of seven, but I was really, really hoping for 10. We've talked about it all week, this entire team, 10 pounds, 10 pounds. That was everyone's goal, everyone's vision. But at the end of the day, you've lost seven pounds week two, which is supposed to, you know, historically uh, the most difficult. I'm excited for you. Give yourself a pat on the back because you really, really worked hard this week. Thanks, Courtney. Yeah. Good job, Good job. Good job. You lost seven pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 20 pounds so far. You have two players left to weigh in, red team. Patrick is next. Walking up to the scale, last week I was a little nervous because I maybe left a little bit at the gym, but this week I knew that I gave everything I had. And so whatever number comes up on that screen, I'm gonna be proud of because I earned it and I worked really hard this week. Patrick, your previous weight was 367 pounds. Your current weight is. This week has been, a, I think, a huge improvement for me, I feel like. I'm not feeling negative like I did last week. I have to just really have positive thoughts and just give everything I have. Thanks, Patrick. I'm proud of that number. It's almost a pound a day. I would have liked to see a higher number to just make it that much tougher for anyone to be able to beat us. Patrick, you lost six pounds this week, adding to the red team's total, making it 26 pounds so far. 
the red team has lower numbers than I anticipated. So I think that, okay, we've got a chance here. Red team, you have one player left to weigh in. Come on up, Ramon. Let's do it, brother. I'm not looking forward to seeing what my number is. You know, I've had a bad week this week. It's, you know, I got some super bad news about my health, and it put me in kind of a funk. But I tried to very quickly use that bad energy and turn it into good energy. I used it as fuel in that gym, but I don't know if it's gonna pay off on the scale. Ramon, your current weight is. That's the number. Feeling good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. You know, I was a little hobbled this week, and you know, I got some bad news. But like I said, I, I put in the tank. I put in the tank. I lit that tank on fire, and I'm gonna get it done now. After all the bad news I got from Doctor H, it hit me hard. But who cares? I just pulled a nine on week two. You lost nine pounds this week, making the red team's total weight loss 35 pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.18%. Black team, we're gonna weigh you in next. You won a two pound advantage on the scale this week, which means you need to have lost more than 37 pounds to beat the red team and make sure that you are safe for one more week. Joe, we're gonna start with you. Come on up. Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. We did have limited gym time this week, but I've been out there doing everything I know to do. I've been trying to eat right, so I have no reason to really worry about the weigh-in today. Your current weight is... This morning, I felt like I've done the work, and minus two just not doesn't cut it and um, it's no excuses. I'm um, hey, two pounds or two pounds, but I expect a lot more. All right, thanks. Thanks. The biggest disappointment with the negative two is I've let my team down. I want to be one of the guys the team looks to for big numbers every week. Two, that's horrible. You lost two pounds this week, adding to the black team's total, making it four pounds so far. Jennifer, we're going to weigh you in next. Because I hurt my knee, I'm doing different things, and I'm trying to get my burn in every day, but it's really difficult with this limitation, so I'm not sure what kind of number I'm going to pop up. Jennifer, your previous weight was 311 pounds. Your current weight is... This man is an absolute genius with what he can do in the gym and modified my workout to get around this knee and taught me the biggest lesson that you just don't give up, you keep pushing. Before I would have just, can't go to the gym, sorry I hurt. With the news from Dr. H as well, it has fueled me to push even harder. Thanks, Jen. Thank you. Good job, Jen. Good job, Good job, Good job, Good job Jenny. Jennifer, you lost six pounds this week, adding to the black team's total, making it 10 pounds so far. Sunny is next. Your current weight is. Girl. I'm disappointed. I know, you know, it's it's a loss, so that's good, but I, I'm i disappointed that I couldn't help the team more. I've added another six pounds to our weight loss, but I see that three of us have only brought 16 to the table, and that included the two-pound weight advantage. So Anton and John are going to have to pull us out and save the day. Black team, with two players left to weigh in to beat the red team and guarantee that you are safe. You need to have lost more than 37 pounds. John, Anton, means the two of you need to have lost a little more than 10 pounds apiece. Anton, you're next. Come on, Anton. So far, we haven't seen double digits from anyone, from the red team or the black team. And now I'm feeling the pressure because I know I want to make sure that I do my part, take some pressure off of John so he doesn't have to carry the whole load. Your current weight is... Awesome. You lost 10 pounds this week. Yeah, that's nice. 
<laughs> I know how to push his buttons. I love that. Nothing makes me happier. He is facing a lot of demons, and let me tell you, I am so glad that I get to work with someone like Antone to be able to fight those demons, because Antone, we're gonna fight him, and we're gonna win. Antone, good job. Thank you. You lost 10 pounds this week, adding to the black team's total, making it 26 pounds. Black team, you have one person left to weigh in. John, you need to have lost more than 11 pounds in order to keep the black team safe and here for one more week. Come on up. All that's going through my mind is 37 donuts. 37 donuts. 37 donuts. Did I work hard enough? Did I burn off those donuts plus extra weight? That's coming down to the wire. And this is my opportunity to contribute to the team and to do my part, or I'm going to be really, really, really embarrassed. Your previous weight was 408 pounds. Your current weight is. John, you need to have lost more than 11 pounds in order to guarantee that the black team is safe and here for one more week. How would it feel for you guys to beat the red team again tonight? Oh, it would be fantastic to beat the red team. It'd be better than candy on Halloween. Your current weight is. Nice. Can I start with the congratulations on making it out of the 400s? Yeah, isn't that great? I hated seeing four weight under my name. I don't ever want to see 400 again. Thanks, John. Thank you, Al. I just felt so relieved. It was like a confirmation of everything I'd been doing in this week, too. You know, with all the drama and 37 stinking donuts, through all that, I was able to drop 15 pounds. I was elated. John, you lost 15 pounds this week, making the black team's total 41 pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.38%. Congratulations to the black team. You are all here for one more week. Blue team, in order to beat the red team and avoid facing elimination tonight, you need to have lost more than 23 pounds. Becky, we're gonna weigh you in first. I'm back. So blue team only has to lose more than 23 pounds. That is so incredibly doable that it makes me really, really worried. I'm thinking somebody from the red team is going home. Your current weight is. Like anybody else i'd love it to be more but i'm thrilled with five pounds it was a good week it was difficult to just be with anna you know two hours a day but she used absolutely every minute so we worked hard we worked very hard i think it was very good for becky to see the scheduling this week that you can find time for yourself even though there's four kids and your husband and your students are trying to get your attention becky she's my superstar she really is <laughs> thanks becky thanks good job becky Becky, you lost five pounds this week, starting the blue team off with five pounds. Remember, blue team, you're looking for more than 23 pounds in order to guarantee that you are safe for one more week. Next, we're going to weigh in Mike. All right, Coach. I felt I had a really good week, and the celebration of my wife and I's 38th uh, year anniversary kind of boosted me along and gave me some extra energy, so I thought I'd put up uh, some good numbers. Your current weight is. You flinched. Yeah. Looking for 10 like everybody else. Uh, worked hard. Uh, I've been with my wife for 38 years and I'd like to make it 50. So I've set some new goals for myself to take care of business so that I'll uh, be around for my wife and my kids and uh, their kids. Good. Thanks, Mike. Mike. Mike, you lost seven pounds this week, adding to the blue team's total, making it 12 pounds so far. You weighed in two players. We have two left to go. Bonnie, come on up. Oh, Bonnie! I personally felt like I did a lot more this week, you know, just pushing myself a little bit more than last week. But because my, my heart rate's not getting up, because I don't go as fast as everybody else because of my knee, I just really was afraid of my numbers. Your current weight is. Sure comes.
comes off slow, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm thinking I'm pushing really a lot harder this week, but I just am waiting to see a good number. <sighs> it's minus, so it's a good thing. Thanks, Bonnie. Thank you. Bonnie, you lost three pounds this week, adding to the blue team's total, making it 15 pounds so far. Okay, blue team, in order to beat the red team, I guarantee that all four of you are here for one more week. Send someone from the red team packing. You need to have lost more than eight pounds, Johnny. Come on up. All right, John, go get it. I knew we had a little problem with Johnny this week, you know, not doing the things that he should do like the rest of us and making excuses. We are not really sure that he's going to succeed in doing this for us. I can't watch this. I can't watch it. Blue team is, is in it. They're sitting pretty right now, and we're nervous. We got a pit in our stomach because Johnny can pull it home. He lost 17 pounds week one, so he's totally capable of just beating us right here. Johnny, you need to have lost more than eight pounds. Your current weight is. Whoa. Whoa. Coming up, the Biggest Loser transformation moment. See how the eliminated player looks today. The Biggest Loser Club, it's changing lives. Want to be a contestant on The Biggest Loser? Log on to NBC.com for details. Johnny, you're the last member of the blue team to weigh in. You need to have lost more than eight pounds in order to keep the blue team safe. Your current weight is... Wow, looking at that plus two, how could this be? The toughest last chance workout of my life. Sweat dripping onto the machines and Anna going, that's what I want, that's what I want. How did I let them down? Well, we worked hard. I watched the diet. Maybe I didn't do some of the homework in the earlier part of the week. We've been struggling with you this whole week. Um, I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised because you are constantly making excuses, so it shows in the numbers. Sure does, Coach. If you don't want to change anything, you shouldn't be here. You have to fight to stay here. I intend to fight, Coach, and I have been fighting. Thank you, Johnny. Johnny, you gained two pounds this week making the blue team's total 13 pounds, with a total percentage of weight loss of 1.2%. Blue team, I'm sorry to say that you're going to be facing elimination again tonight, but there is one person that you cannot vote for, and that is the person on the blue team with the highest percentage of weight loss. The biggest loser for the blue team tonight is Mike. It's Mike. Mike, you are here for one more week. The rest of you are in danger of elimination and going home. I will see you in an hour with your decision. Black team, red team, you have the night off. Good luck, time for you to gear up for next week. I'll see you guys soon. Good night. Even though I've got a plus two, I'm hoping that the blue team can really think it through. My successes of a week ago of 17 pounds off, which really put the blue team on the map. It could be that I'm the guy that should really be kept on the team. Blue team. We're back in the elimination room together. Unfortunately, one of you is going to have to be supporting the blue team from home. So we're going to start with you, Becky. Well, essentially, my choice was between Bonnie and Johnny. Bonnie never quits. As hard as it may be for her, she perseveres. Johnny did step up later in the week, but in my opinion, at this point, it was too little, too late. So I'm sorry to say I had to vote for Johnny. Johnny, you have one vote. Keep in mind that it will take two to eliminate you tonight. 
because if it ends in a tie, you have the lowest percentage of weight loss and you would automatically be eliminated. And now I need to hear what your decision was tonight. I voted for this person based on the future of the blue team as things are going to get more difficult, etc. I voted for Bonnie. Johnny, you have one vote. Bonnie, that's one vote for you. And now I need to hear from you. I feel like we've gotten very close as a family, all of us that's sitting in here. But this person just hasn't been doing every bit of the homework, you know, the last few days. Because of that, I voted for Johnny. So Johnny, with two votes, that's enough to eliminate you tonight. If it had come to a tie, you would have been the person with the lowest percentage of weight loss, and you would have been automatically eliminated. You guys have been great. Becky, you've uh, stepped up in more ways than one, and, uh, and you've done it all, and you've stood tall. And Bonnie, you are the best, the best. And I take my hat off to you. And Coach Mike, you're a, uh, he's a real coach. He's a real athlete, real athlete and a real great guy. I wish you all the best of luck, and don't let the red and the black team give it to you. Well, Johnny, officially, I have to tell you that with two votes, you have been eliminated, but we are not through with you yet. We are going to see you one more time for one final challenge. You will be back to compete in the Biggest Loser Marathon. And remember that the winner of the Biggest Loser Marathon automatically makes it to the finals, automatically is competing for a quarter of a million dollars. So you still have a chance. And I'm sorry to tell you, Johnny, you are not the Biggest Loser, and it's time for you to go. See you guys. Bye, John. I'm sad to be leaving the ranch, and for today to come up the way it did still blows my mind. But my mission is to go home and get healthy. Age does not matter. I got a spring in my step again. Anna has brought me to the mindset of a new person and shown me things that I never, ever, ever thought I could do. I'm not a quitter! So to Anna, I thank her. Thanks, honey. My family, are they proud of me? They're proud of me, and I'm proud of them. Because without them, this wouldn't have happened. They did it. America, the next time you see me, I'll be thin, and I will win the at-home prize, so make sure you tune in. When I first arrived at the ranch, I weighed 328 pounds. And today, I weigh 269 pounds. Yeah! I've lost a total of 59 pounds. My experience on the ranch woke me up, changed me. My energy has tripled, quadrupled. It's beyond the beyond. Yeah! I play with the grandkids. I don't get tired out. My wife and I are entertaining, we're out and about and doing all sorts of things that we weren't doing. It's a major lifestyle change. This is how dedicated I am. I'm driving along with my son and uh, I just parked the car and I said, you drive the car home, I'm walking. You're gonna walk home from here? Yeah. It's about three miles. Yeah, but dad, it's three, four miles. I said, it's okay, don't worry about it. If I'm not it's home soon, call the cops. Will do. Soon means probably by tomorrow morning. All right. <laughs> Ah, home sweet home! <laughs> I made it. And I'm 66 years old, and I intend to continue. Get up, go! Yeah! yeah I have a new lease on life. I, I'm feeling the best I've felt in 25 years. Here we go, Boston. Here we go. <laughs> I'm kicking butt, taking names, and having a great time. Thank, Thank you, Biggest Loser, for giving us our father back.